How's it going everyone? This is Vandal Designs here and uh, after a long while I'm making another video and uh, today it's basically just a uh, kind of a design walkthrough um, but also it's going to double a bit as a jersey swap uh, you know maybe not tutorial necessarily but like I'll be jersey swapping Mart here I'll be putting them in the Leafs uh, newly unveiled heritage classic jerseys and I'll just kind of be going through the steps of like how I do this, how I, I, I make a swap like this. Um, you know, just to give you an idea, just to, to show you how I do it. And I, I've recorded like four of these over the past like three years and I've like scrapped every one of them because I didn't like them. Hopefully this one will be good. So um, I've already taken the, the leisure of like cutting Marner out because you know, that's, that's boring. No one wants to see that. So here he is. So I'm going to do create a new layer. I'm going to group it. I'm going to call this swap. And then I'm going to copy the mask over. And then inside of this folder will be all of our swap, um, you know, assets basically. So first things first, I think I'm going to clone stamp out this Leafs logo, basically create like a bit of a blank slate on this jersey. So just like that, use the clone stamp tool. But what I might do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna try using the, uh, looks like that, I'm gonna go to the Mar layer. I'm gonna go to edit and content aware fill. And I'm gonna say, don't use this part, don't use this part. Uh, don't use this part. Basically, I'm gonna tell Photoshop which parts to like sample from. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want to sample these parts. There we go. All right, so that gives us a solid base to uh, to work on here. Let's apply this and then put it in here. So yeah, it's not perfect, but it gives us a solid base to just kind of keep working on this thing. Um, now we also need to remove these arm stripes. All right, so now, uh, what I like to do with these colors, and this is what I do for basically everything when it comes to colors. I am going to create a new layer, put in a group. I'm gonna call this like blue, put a little arrow kind of thing, and then put like navy. And uh, I'll just make this blue just for visual purposes. Uh, and then, so what I do is I'll put a black and white adjustment layer. And I can delete this blank layer that was just to create the group really. And then I will create a solid color adjustment layer and I'll make this like navy blue theirs is almost I don't know if this is the lighting of these photos it's almost purplish and then I'll put this on uh, color you know sometimes it's overlay sometimes it's soft light sometimes it is uh, color I think your color works and then I'll put in a curves right here and I'll just darken it a touch, just like that. And then I'm gonna come here and create a black mask. And I'm just gonna paint them the color. All right, so we have darkened pretty much this whole jersey, but now we also have this collar here. If we look at it here, uh, this part should all be blue and the inside should be white. So there's a couple ways that I could do this. I could clone stamp it, but I'm actually going to use another method that uh, I am also going to use for these gloves. So 
And basically what I do here is I'm gonna create a new layer. And basically this, this kind of like group here, this group that uh, turns this blue into this like, you know, navy blue. I'm gonna do kind of the same thing here. So I'm gonna create a new layer, group it, call this white. Um, I'm gonna call this white to gray. And I'm gonna make the color gray because I like the color code these so they're easy to spot. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to turn off both the blue as well as the curves. So this is basically just the blue that's been turned to black and white. All right, and so what I'm gonna do in here is I'm going to turn this black and white, and then I'm going to add a curves and I'm just going to, uh, I'm just gonna darken it real for a whole bunch. And I'm gonna drag this down. And this is gonna be extreme a bit, but I'm gonna delete this and then I'm going to add this thing right here, this black mask. And then I'm going to brush in to here. And this is barely visible. Oh, the curve got reset for some reason. There you go. So I'm just gonna do this here. And basically, right now, my only real objective is to cover up this white. Right? It doesn't really matter what the shade is. I'm just trying to like cover the white and you know the making the uh, making the uh, making that curve was really just so that I could like visibly see where I'm brushing in. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, now that I've got these, I'm going to use the curve to color match this white with the uh, with the, uh, the blues. So I'm basically gonna make sure that all this is one uniform gray. Just come back in here to clean this up a bit. So this looks much better already. It could be a tiny bit darker. Yeah, things like that. So just like that, all right, we've gone from this to this. And now I'm going to move this layer underneath the blue to navy and turn these back on. And then I can come in and brush this here. And as you can see, blends in rather seamlessly. Once again, create a new layer. That's all it is really when it comes to colors. I'm gonna say blue to white. And then I'm going to create a black and white adjustment layer. Gonna create curves. Gonna put a black mask here. And I'm just gonna brush it in here. So just like that. And then I'm just gonna take this and I'm going to boost it up, boost it up until it is white. And a, a quick little tip here is in most cases, right? Cause I just made this black and white. So remove all color and then boost it up to white. So this is like pure sterile white. There's nothing but white and gray tones in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to color balance and I'm gonna go to the highlights. And I'm just gonna add a teeny tiny touch of cyan, uh, maybe yellow, with negative five on both, maybe sometimes blue works, but I think yellow here works. So just so it's not pure white, just so there's a teeny tiny like tinge to it, teeny tiny like tint. Um, that helps with selling the realism of it. So now I'm going to just like that, make sure that this is blacked out, just like that. Same thing here, there you go. Looking good, so now we have got the collar done. All right, what's next on the agenda? The logo. So we've got this nice, nice picture here. All right, so we've got the selection here. I'm gonna locate that. And then boom, we have got our logo. I'm gonna make it a smart object. And I'm gonna put this right here. 
warp it a bit. All right, yeah, sure, that'll do. This A is like so much darker than the rest for some reason. I'm just going to brighten it up a bit. There you go. Now we're also going to attach an exposure layer, put the exposure down, invert that mask, and then just with a soft brush, go in and brush in a couple shadows, just coming down here. The next thing I want to do, and this is, uh, I think, like purely conceptual, right? I don't think they'd actually unveil the color of the gloves and, and the gear and, and all, you know, the helmet and all that. But I'm going to come in and make this, uh, use that, that white to gray uh, group from earlier. And I'm going to make these gloves one shade of gray. So I want this these gloves to be all the same color. All right, so now that the, the cuff, the white cuff of gloves are gray, I'm gonna create a new group. Again, call this blue to brown. And uh, I mean, you can probably figure out what I'm doing here. Let's make this look orange. I am making, yeah, that's a nice tone. That works well, I think. We can do some minor adjustments later, maybe. But uh, yeah, basically, I'm just making the, um, the gloves like leather brown. Same thing with the pants too. So let's do this here. Let's add a solid oop, add a solid color. And I think I want to go for those almost like like maybe not brown, like leather brown, but almost like tan. Pants like they're almost orange, I'd say. So let's let's just start with this color. Alright, so now that basically uh, the pants and, and the gloves are brown, I've also gone in and just made like the logos and, and all this stuff black. Uh, and I also brought back the CCM logo that I had stamped out. Now that we have that, uh, I'm just gonna put a curves here, and like brighten it a bit. Yeah, see, I like this better than like the darker. So I'm just gonna grab these numbers here. That looks good. I'm gonna duplicate it, and then I'm also going to just remove this little autograph here. We've got one number 16 that we can place right here. So, what I'm actually gonna do here is, um, with this number here, it's, it's like bent with the jersey so like in such a, a precise shape that I think what I'm gonna do, right, is if you look at the actual six here, the six is very similar. Like it's basically the same thing, but one is different. So I'm actually gonna keep this as it is. The one difference is I'm going to take like part of this one like this I'm just gonna duplicate that and then like rotate it like this, or like this maybe. And then just kind of emulate that uh, that serif on the one. Yeah, so that works. That works for that. Uh, another thing I might do is, I mean, uh, I guess I can do the helmet. All right, so I think looking at this now, things are looking pretty nice. Uh, oh, one thing. Small little surf like that, just to actually match that. And also, forgot to do that, but uh, on the logo, I wanna add a very small drop shadow. So yeah, also, forgot to I forgot to add also when I was researching the font I just found that uh, the A's on these jerseys are, are almost identical to these A's 
they seem to be just a little bit taller. So here's what I'm gonna do. All right, so the very last thing I wanna do here is take this, uh, take this wood texture and I'm just gonna overlay this on top of the stick. All right, now I'm just going to come in here with the loss of tool. And I'm just going to make this selection right here, just out of like the, uh, the kind of the under edge of it. I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna come over here and I'll fill this with white and I'll go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and blur this like on all three pixels. Four, five, yeah, five's good. Set this to like overlay. This is this is very experimental, by the way. I don't really know what I'm doing here. There seems to be a very slight taper at the top here as well. Actually, you know what? Let's try something here. Let's turn off all this. So we've only got some flat wood. And let's take the eraser. So let's duplicate this. I only have one of them visible. Let's take the eraser tool and just erase basically all the logos and stuff. And then I'm going to use the curve or levels rather to really crank the levels on the black and the white so that I can set this to screen mode. Maybe I can combine the two, put these at like a lower opacity just to kind of help highlight it. Then we go back in and this time we are going to erase everything that isn't logos. We can invert it and then crank the whites and the blacks so that we are left with something like this. Now we can just set to uh, multiply. And then finally, I think the last thing that is left is just the true logo right here. There you go. Wooden stick. There we go, yeah, that looks pretty good. The swap here is done. Now I'm gonna move over to this cutout of Dylan Cousins and I'll be doing the swap here. So I'm not gonna do the full kind of walkthrough again. Uh, instead, I'm just gonna do this part as a speeder. So yeah.
So there you have it. That's how I made these two uh, these two jersey swaps, as well as the design that goes with it. Uh, so at the time that I'm recording this, actually, the Winter Classic is in a I think like a couple minutes. It's gonna start really very 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 soon, and uh, unfortunately, the Leafs are not going with this uh, this canvas setup. So that's a bit unfortunate. I think this would have been a better option, but you know, whatever, right? Uh, so hopefully, you know, this has been helpful to you if you're ever planning on making jersey swaps at uh, at some point. And uh, hopefully this was entertaining as well. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.